All right, guys, we gotta make this quick. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel and checking out another reaction video. Don't forget to like this video, comment on this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell so you get notification every time I upload a brand new video. I upload at least one new video every single weekday, and I even take requests from you guys. So if there's any video you want me to react to, simply leave it in the comments section or send it to me on social media. Clickable links to everything to include my Discord are in the description, and the best way you're gonna know when I upload the video you requested is by hitting that bell and getting those notifications. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for being here. Gotta make this quick. Let's get to the video. All right, guys, first off, if you sat through that, thank you so much. The reason I have to get through this is I have an appointment in like the next 20 minutes. But as I was uploading the other video that I just uploaded, the Cap Carter video, I just seen that he uploaded a video that I've never seen before. He just uploaded this three weeks ago and I had no idea this existed. So I'm really excited to dive into this one. Um, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for checking out another video. If you wanna support me and ensure that I get to do this for a very long time, all I need you to do is hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. With that being said, let's check out the live version of Holy by Cap Carter. I've never heard the recorded version. I've never heard any version. I don't even know what this, let's go. About six years ago, I was working like this dead end sales job. And I don't know about you guys. I didn't know he was work, Australian. Like a really weird job, but I, I was working this job and I worked this sales job full time for two years. And I kid you not, to this day, I don't know what we sold. <laughs> like, and I was always those dude on the phones, like, welcome, how can I help you? And customers would ring up and they'll be like, yo, you know, can I get help with this? And I was, I was a bit cheeky. What I did was put them on hold and pass them on to my friend Steve. Uh, hey. And I still don't know. Fun fact, I used to work for a telemarketing company and I did the exact same thing. I mean, I know who we worked for, but uh, anytime somebody would call, um, yeah, I don't know the answer to that question. Let me pass it to my supervisor. And my supervisor would always ask me, why do you pass me all of your calls? There's nothing saying I can't and I don't want to do it. What we sold, so employee of the month right here. Um, but I met, I met a gentleman there by the name of Ian. And Ian was like well into his 70s. Um, and I don't, know, I don't know what it was, but he took a liking to me, he always called me really interesting. Uh, I think he thought I was probably stupid or something. <laughs> <laughs> but him and I developed like this real father and son sort of relationship. Uh, he took me under his wing, really mentored, became a life mentor. And uh, it was a year that I wanted to leave Australia and I wanted to, uh, out of all things, I wanted to go see the Northern Lights for some reason. And Ian started charting a course for me to go see the Northern Lights because he'd been there. It was three months of prep and I ended up flying from Sydney, Australia to uh, there's a little village in Northern Norway called Rhine. And uh, lo and behold, I saw the Northern Lights exactly where Ian said I would. And I was so excited to come back to Australia and tell him uh, that I had seen them. We've been working so hard to try and chart out a course there. So I got back to Sydney, Australia, sat uh, at my desk and I got a company email and the subject of the email was uh, uh, Wednesday Funeral uh, Ian. And I read that and I was like, nah, that wow. can't be my Ian. I hope it's Warehouse Ian. Because <laughs> I don't like Warehouse Ian. <laughs> but it was my Ian, it was my mm. Ian. And uh, I didn't know that for that time that I'd known him, that he was, uh, he was fighting cancer. And uh, it suddenly hit me that the three months that we spent together, wow. Uh, charting out a course to see the Northern Lights was probably his last project. So I wrote a song. I started writing oh a song my in a God. small uh, cabin in Northern Norway. I finished half of it. And I finished, uh, I finished the second half just uh, shortly after Ian's funeral. And uh, there was one oh, thing that rough. Ian said to me. There was, it was actually Ian's last words to me when I left Sydney. He says, you gotta be brave kid, uh, but eventually the brave will see the lights. And uh, I remember looking at him I'm like, that's the fucking cheesiest thing I've ever heard, man. But I'll take it. And uh, as is, those were his last words. You gotta be brave. And eventually the brave will see the lights. This one's called Holy. Oh my God. I... Oh, sh what did we just get into? I finally figured you out. What she tried to tell me as I spat the blood from my mouth. She's 
closer than she was before But I'm the sum of my doubts Of my doubts Now they're laying me down Sweat and skin upon the table And we're risking it now Stretched upon the altar Thirty years of wandering round Wandering round over my head she's over my head and she's taking my brave she's taking my brave hey hey oh wow staring up at the skies i'm trying to find the answers but i'm getting lost in your eyes and i hold you little tighter so you can feel the fire inside man i feel so alive now she's over my head she's over my head and she's taking my Guys, thank y'all for being here. We'll um we'll see you at the next one, guys.